Hello everyone! Welcome to another card video. So I've got a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor paper and this is the textured side. It's my favorite side. I, I used to like the flat side but now it's the textured side. So I'm sponging on some Mowed Lawn Distress Ink for some grass. And I'm going to use Salty Ocean uh, Distress Ink for my sky. Ta-da! So I'm taking this uh, die from Paper Tray Ink. It's the Big Hugs uh, set, and I'm going to cut it right out of this panel. And try to not break anything or rip anything. You see this piece here? Keep this. You need this. So I'm going to stamp the rest of my sentiment. This is Sending from Paper Tray's Sending Hugs mini stamp set. And I'm using Versafine Onyx Black and a little bit of Stamping Up's Clear Embossing Powder. So I'm just figuring out where I'm cutting this hugs also out of some craft foam because I'm going to make it a shaker card. Making sure everything's all lined up. I'm just trimming a little bit off of the foam to make sure it doesn't peek out of the side. So I'm going to adhere my acetate after I cut it down. I'm just going to use a little bit of score tape and Ranger or Ranger Multimedia Matte and Glossy Accents. I switched in between the two because my Ranger Multimedia got clogged, so I, I had my husband unclog it for me. He's so sweet. So I need to adhere that piece that we saved to my acetate so it completes the S. And now I'm using score tape and Ranger Multimedia again to adhere the craft foam to that top panel. Or glossy accents. I use both. Doesn't matter. One's glossy, one's matte. They both are fantastic. So you gotta put your head in the way, clearly, to line this up, because that's what happened to me. I started out pretty good, and then I felt like I was messing it up, so I had to put my head in the way. But I got it adhered, and it worked out okay. I just had to cut that part out. Ta-da! There's a lot of ta-da's today. So I'm using um, the adhesive to adhere that little piece of the S again with the craft foam to build it up. So I'm going to use my magic powder bag to um, stamp the harvest mouse that's carrying the basket, only we're not going to use the basket today. We're going to also clear emboss him. And we're going to use some Derwent Inktense pencils, changing it up, um, to color my mouse. and. 
this is my favorite way to watercolor because it creates those wells that make it harder for you to mess up because I need that. I need everything to help me. So this is my Derwent Inktense pencils. I got this for Christmas two years ago. I don't use these very much. I need to use them more. I'm just not very good at them. Not that I'm fabulous at anything, but this is my least, uh, this is hard for me, the Inktense pencils. So I'm just using one color to uh, color my mouse, starting with the darkest areas and then using my water to blend it out. I started to go and color like the whole image with Inktense pencils, but then I got this crazy idea to paper piece his clothes, which I love to do. It's on this like dress up. So that's what I did. I'm just going in with a little bit of a little bit more pencil to darken up some areas and create some kind of some contrast in the image and some shading uh, for dimension. So this is, whenever I'm using pencils, I use this magnetic dish and a little uh, pencil sharpener and I just put all my little scraps in that dish and it makes it so easy. I can not worry about the pencil scraps and throw it away later when I'm done. And then you always have a, a sharpened pencil. So I'm using Hero Arts Black Dye Ink to just stamp the image onto some patterned paper because we're going to fussy cut them out and paper piece some patterns on his clothes. This is a plaid from L'Enfant's Perfectly Plaid and then this is some denim because he needs to rock a denim vest um, from My Mind's Eyes um, Dolled Up. And now I'm going to attempt to fussy cut all of these things out. And with the magic of video, it is done. So now I'm just going to use some adhesive to adhere his clothes. I did start to color him, but then I got this idea and I liked it better. So there he is all dressed up with his plaid shirt and his denim vest. So I'm going to use this black Copic marker to go around the edges. Um, whenever you fussy cut things, especially with watercolor paper, you can really see those edges. So darkening them with a, with a black marker or a dark marker that matches your ink really helps make it look better. So now I'm going to pop him up with some Scotch 3M foam tape. And I'm going to make it so that he's holding up that hugs, like he is taking those hugs somewhere. So now uh, I realized that I needed another uh, panel behind the hugs. I didn't want it to be stark white. So I'm just doing the exact same ink blending that I did with the salty ocean and the mowed lawn really quickly and creating the back piece. These are mini prills. They remind me of nerds 
the candy. The, I, I miss nerds. I think that I'm going to go out and get some nerds because that's what this, re this reminds me of. I surely do not eat this, but that's what it looks like. Those little round nuggets. So now I'm going to use more score tape and adhere that panel that I just inked to the back. So I got the idea to use some Nouveau Crystal Drops as like he's kicking up some Nouveau Crystal Drop Dust and that's it. That's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You're okay, keep going. I'm making a cake for Santa. Oh, you're making Santa a cake? Yeah. In April? Yeah. 